Hi, you're Blue Food. You're watching Lindsay Klein's Homegrown Spotlight. What's up? I'm Lindsay Klein inside the Homegrown Spotlight with my friends, and she said, Fire! Fire! Say fire. <laughs> That's what she said. I love it. So, you guys have been formerly August Infinity. How long has She Said Fire been this lineup? Uh, we've been jamming together since, I guess, September of 2012, September of 2012, since around September of 2012. Why did you um, change your name? It was, it was kind of, it was like a new beginning. We were kind of discovering that we had, we had kind of found a new sound that we wanted to explore and so it was just a really good opportunity to sort of start from scratch and, and roll with that kind of new. And the new sound would be fire, which is, uh, they're representing, I like. <laughs> Get your stick. Do you guys have these stickers made? We're, uh, we're, yeah, we've, got, we've got stickers ready to go. They're absolutely ready to go. So, how would you describe She Said Fire's sound? I guess uh, Joshua described it one time as being like a Bonnie and Clyde comic book. So, it's like, I don't know, like in that time it was like swing kind of music, and this whole album has kind of like a swing feel to it. So, it's like rocking with swing and pop essence. Yeah, there's so, a lot of like, yeah, fun, it's, like, it's fun. Yeah, it's not just like that, uh, like <laughs> one, two, three, metal. four, you yeah. know. So, yeah, it's a good sound. We like it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. new. That's new for the blog. And you guys actually are no strangers to acoustic. I know you have this thing online called pajama jams. Uh, pajama jam is when we we get in our onesie pajamas and uh, which, we which you have, which is awesome. Yeah, we, we <laughs> all, a lot of them. Well, yeah, we have several. We change it up, so if you watch them, you'll see us in different ones. But uh, we put on these PJs, these onesies, and then we play covers of songs from the 90s that we like, new songs, pop okay. songs, whatever, and we just have a really good time. Okay, so that is covers, but do you ever play out live acoustically? Uh, yeah, we play acoustically uh, all the time. If, uh, we did it right here, actually. Yeah, I know, right I know. Right it's it's <laughs> good. But it seemed it. like you, you have done it before. Your own <laughs> All right, where do you guys gig? Uh, all over, uh, in, all over New York right now. And then we we go out in the tri-state area. Where we go out in PA and Connecticut and New Jersey all the time. So uh, right now, just basically in New York, Long Island. Okay. Do you want to travel with this with this band? Yeah, I'm ready. To, I think we're all ready to quit our jobs. You have a band. I saw it. <laughs> it's awesome. When it works. Make sure you when go it's, in the summer. It's <laughs> Can I tell you how creepy our band is? Uh, sure. We were uh, we just replaced the stereo in it, and I dropped the screw under the front seat, and we discovered an old pair of binoculars that belonged to the previous owner, and they were real creepy. And our van already has like this creepy kind of thing going for Imagine us. Imagine if there were like imprints of what the binoculars saw. I, yeah, that would be cool. I, <laughs> or not. I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> but the binoculars are really good. All right, so, so you have a creepy van. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have a new album coming out. And let's talk about that. What went into making this album? Do all of you contribute to writing songs, or does somebody come in with an idea? Yeah. <laughs> um, the the music is it's usually and it's blah, blah, blah. okay. Uh, when when we're writing songs, normally um, one of the guys will come up with a guitar part. Um, actually, Blue Sky Avenue. We were just like, Christina, play a drum beat that you think is cool. And she played this dancey beat, and then we started writing around it. But basically, the music comes first, and then um, I tend to find inspiration from music, more so than just life on its own. Okay. Um, so, so uh, other music out there inspires you? No, I'm saying, like, once once there's an idea that's kind of out there, mm -hmm. I'll kind of go with, like, what does that feel like that's trying to say, you know? Um, and so I'll come up with a melody based on... Um, based on a riff or something that the guys have put together. Okay. Guys meaning Christina as well. <laughs> um, and then lyrics kind of come a year or two after that. Wow, alright. So then, this new album, did you guys have somebody produce it for you? Uh, yeah, we worked with Mike Watts at Voodoo Studios, who was fantastic. He's worked with several different uh, artists in the local scene, but also abroad, like a lot of major label artists. He just finished the new Deer Hunter record, um, and it sounds incredible. Not that I know, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, those those guys were awesome out there. Do you think you'll use them again next time, or absolutely? All right. Yeah. Good. I mean, 
the, the entire experience was not only was a lot of fun, um, but we really hit it off with Mike as a person, and, um, uh, and and so and sort of discovering each other's styles and discovering the way that we work together, it was just a really enriching experience. Mm -hmm. I think. And you guys have a manager or do it yourself, everything? Uh, well, I manage and he does too, and he does and she does. So it's true. <laughs> Alright, I like that. Very um, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, let's, all tell the, um, let's tell our listeners where they can find your music. On iTunes, Amazon. It'll be pretty, the pretty much. Face. It's a world, worldwide affair, yeah. She's We're all over Facebook. Facebook.com. Facebook. Yeah. There you go. You good, good job, Pete. You want to talk about, you want to talk about some, <laughs> some internet outlets? She said fire.com. Dot com. <laughs> dot com. Right. No, we're, we're really active on Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Um, we like to tell jokes, post pictures. Uh, we have those cool, where, where's the said fire bubble? If you want to play the uh, Who Said Fire game, then you can hang out with us. <laughs> I don't know. We, we just like to have fun. It's like the pajama jams, the set fire yeah. stuff. It's all about just not, like, Enjoying yourself. we wear leather and we look pretty cool, I think. But we're not, like, <laughs> and then you we're put on a one thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we're not too cool for school. We're not, like, big badass rock stars. Like, we just want to entertain and have a good time oh. with our friends and our fans. You know? All right. So, well, every band that I ask that comes in, um, piece of advice for in the scene, like if a band is just starting off in the local original scene, what have you guys like witnessed that you would give advice? Don't ever give up. Oh, Pete. Oh, God. Oh, Pete. No, seriously. Um, I mean, too many bands that are, that are really good out there just, just break up. So it's, I think it's really impossible to become successful if, if you break up. <laughs> good point. That is a good point. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Anybody else? I think don't share your drums. Um, <laughs> you no. have to, you have oh, to. yeah, you have to share your drums. <laughs> share your drums. We're so, the worst advice. Oh, <laughs> best advice? Tune your guitar. Make sure it's in tune. Okay. Do you want to give some advice? <laughs> um, yeah, practice, stay true to yourself. Um, you know, be true to what, what you believe in. It's you know, it's hard sometimes. Music is a tough, you know, music business in general is tough. But you know, if you keep on working at it, hopefully it'll pay off. And uh, you know, can't wait for it. You just have to work hard and play as much as you can and get your music out there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would say. I don't know. You might as well uh, add something. Uh, <laughs> stay true to yourself. It's <laughs> a coffee cup. Uh, I guess you just have to. You you can't act like it's a competition. A lot of bands are always treating it like uh, like oh I gotta I gotta sell more tickets in this band. I gotta do better in this band. But you're really we're all in it together. So you may as well just like seek each other's help and uh, do things together. Like we're we're always trying to go out and play acoustically and like in New York and like Union Square and stuff. And, uh, uh, we've tried to get other bands to come along with us. Sometimes the schedules are hard. But you gotta, you gotta team up. You gotta tackle the scene together. So, teamwork. You are me, and I am you, and we're all the walrus, actually. That's what I got. Exactly. We're all the walrus. <laughs> all right. This is she said fire. Give them a listen. They are swing. They are rock. They are fun. They wear onesies. Check them out. Thanks, guys. It's true. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.